Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a short reminder for all of us um, as to what we can do during this time um, where we are mostly confined at home. And this is a reminder for you and myself uh, so that we can try to practice every day something and remind ourselves. First and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us to do dhikr as much as possible. You know, a time when we feel lonely, a time when we cannot interact with our peers, we are unable to socially interact, and in reality, man is a social being. <coughs> so one way to keep ourselves busy is to do zikr of Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has advised us, as in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa dhikr fa inna dhikra tanfa'ul mu'minin. And remind, remind yourself and remind others because reminding each other will benefit the believers. So when you're home, try to teach your children something good. Remind your wife, try to um, uh, pray salah together. And uh, again, uh, try to teach them the Quran, try to uh, read the tafsir if you can. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Second, try to do tasbih of Allah as much as possible. Do dhikr of Allah as much as possible. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, فَاسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ قَبْلَ تُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ وَقَبْلَ غُرُوبِهَا وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحْ وَأَطْرَافَ النَّهَارِ لَعَلَّكَ تَرْضَى so forget about what other people are saying and because sometimes, many times, the media brings out things that will hurt you. For example, in India, they are trying to blame the coronavirus on a group of Muslims that had gathered together. And that has little to do with where the coronavirus came. Um, and in a similar way, you will, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is advising us to forget those things. Don't get bothered with it but focus on doing tasbih of Allah as much as you can. Qabla tulu'i shamsi wa qabla ghurubiha, before the sun rises and before it sets. And during the two times during the day, scholars point out that this refers to um, the times of Zohar and Asar, uh, Allah knows best, and even during the night. So basically this could refer to your salah, but it could also, uh, doesn't necessarily restrict you to that. So do tasbih as much as you can. This will give you peace in your heart at a time of anxiety, at a time of uneasiness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send tranquility down to your hearts. Third, <clears throat> try to develop some means of charity. You can do, even if you have a few dollars, you can practice charity. Like yesterday, I took my daughter and um, we had some eggs. I took them to a neighbor and I gave it. And at a time like this where uh, eggs are hard to find in the supermarket, the shelves are all empty, they'll like it. And it's a source of charity when somebody needs it. Uh, each of one of you, I'm sure, can develop an ingenious way. Walk to the neighbor, just say hello, maintain your distance. But that's a courtesy, a means of da'wah. And inshallah, you will feel good about it. That anxiety, it will come down. Believe me, as one of the scholars pointed, there is one thing that you'll never feel bad about, and that is when you do something good, big or small. When you do good, inshallah, you will never feel bad about it. Even years from now, looking back, remind, even now, remind yourself, ask yourself about something that you did good in your life. You'll never feel bad about it. And inshallah, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he help us ponder and reflect on this reminder and may be beneficial for us both in this dunya and in the akhirah.